my, so over there is my dad has been reading a lot of books about Heidegger, about Heidegger, and 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 once he told me that he was involved with Hitler. So what do you think about that? Oh, I think it's true, and it's a disaster. It's Heidegger really believed that Hitler was going to save Germany, which was in a terrible mess with huge inflation and unemployment and and the uh, communists were trying to take over Germany and the people who didn't want to be communist were thinking they had to do something desperate and Hitler came along and said he would save them and Heidegger believed it and uh, it's just terrible that the, one of the greatest, I think Heidegger is one of the greatest philosophers of all time and more and more it's becoming clear be, that he is that it, because the, lots of them from the 20th century are now being forgotten but the number of Heidegger books coming out every year is more and more and influence everybody but what do you do about that when the most important philosopher who's the deepest and smartest philosopher buys into the, the most dangerous and disastrous and evil movement <coughs> in the 20th century or maybe ever and I don't know what to say about it uh, People say various things uh, to defend Heidegger, that he was just politically naive, that that wasn't his strength, and he should, uh, we should just forgive him. <clears throat> and he sort of says that about himself. He says this was his greatest stupidity to be a Nazi, now he says. But people rightly want to say, well, he should then say that he's at least sorry and not just thinks he was dumb, but thinks it was disastrous and dangerous and he wishes it never happened. He doesn't say anything like that or he's sorry it ever happened or he feels very guilty. None of it. And then people say, and this, it's complicated, but Heidegger never liked the way the Nazis were doing things. He always thought that they should ask him and that he would do it better and that he wasn't, it wasn't his fault that there were this bunch of stupid gangsters running National Socialism. National Socialism should have been Heideggerian National Socialism. He talks about that uh, the inner truth and greatness of National Socialism. But that just drives more people up a wall because they don't think that a, a politics that kills millions of people could have an inner truth and greatness. But Heidegger never apologizes for that either. And all I can say is you just got to realize, people have to realize, that uh, Heidegger in 33 didn't know yet what the Nazis were going to turn into. They just had taken over Germany. And that by the, when he found, figured it out, finally, in 1938, five years after, he turned against the, the National Socialists and gave lectures that were sort of, if you, could, if you could see between the lines, that he was criticizing them for having this belief in one leader, the Führerprinzip in German, Hitler was the, the leader, and criticizing them for having a view of where everything could be organized by technology into one, what did he call it? Uh, let me think. Uh, hmm. I don't remember. There was a, a phrase that the Nazis used that Hitler turned against. Oh, total mobilization. Mm -hmm. He was against the idea that you should take everything and organize it toward, with one leader toward one goal. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so in after 38, he wasn't, he, he wasn't defending the Nazis anymore. But people again complained because he didn't resign from the, the, the party, which he had, the National Socialist Party, which he had joined. But I, there I just don't go along with people. I mean, you just don't resign from the National Socialist Party like you'd resign from the Boy Scouts. You'd yeah. be dead. So, of course, he stayed a, a Nazi. Also, his son was fighting on the Russian front, and not a good time to be in trouble with the leaders. Nope. But <laughs> Exactly. But the whole story is pretty embarrassing, and it's terrible that, you, that I have to be uh, Jewish, as I am besides, defending and explaining Hitler, uh, well, Hitler as seen by Heidegger, uh, and there's nothing more to say about it except that it's terribly regrettable.